you've won a contest titled, I've had enough of corporate work, and the grand prize is an opportunity to intern at cafes all around the globe. Your journey begins in Cape Town, South Africa, where you'll get to learn the ins and outs of running a small coffee truck while gaining valuable business skills. You must be the winner of the contest. Nice to meet you. My name is Kim, and I'm here to help guide you during your coffee journey. We're going to travel around the world together, starting here, in a beautiful park in Cape Town. Do you see this humble coffee truck over there? Let's start with creating a brand for it. Wow, what a brand. I bet your place will attract customers like bees to honey or like pigeons to coffee. Wait, what's going on? I've seen many weird things in my career, but a caffeinated pigeon is definitely something new. In any case, let's learn how to navigate the scene. By the way, if you ever need help with any task, just click the Show Me How button for more detailed instructions. Pretty easy, right? But that's not all. In our world, you can fly around freely. Now that you know how to move the camera, let's get to work. First, we need to buy some chairs and tables so people can sit down and relax.
Nice work. The park. First menu. Congratulations on your first sale. While you might not be rich just yet, with a few more million sales, you'll be well on your way. Let's take a closer look at that customer now. Meet Johnny Doe, a casual. It's good to know your customers. Fortunately, equipped with an amazing mind-reading device, you can see what your customers really think about their experience. Each review affects your rating points. So, pay attention. Can you see his review of the coffee price? When you see your customers are happy about the... As you can see, analyzing reviews from your customers can give you valuable insights into how to grow your business. But don't forget about the other customers. Click on the highlighted one. This is Marco Polo, a hipster. As you can see, he likes coffee to go, but you don't have any takeaway cups. It's a good opportunity to learn how to order supplies. Let's make your customer happy and order some takeaway cups for him. The supplies are on their way. Just wait a bit. In the 21st century, drones can deliver your order. In our world, people are okay with drone delivery. It's a normal part of our mundane life. You're learning very fast. You've analyzed customer reviews and taken action to improve your profits and customer experience. That's how you build a successful business. There's one more customer waiting. Let's take care of her too. Meet Dana Mulder, a student. It looks like she really likes your decoration. I'm not surprised at all. You've already met three different social groups. In future missions, you'll meet even more. Remember, each social group has different expectations. If you zoom in on the place where the student was sitting, you'll notice that she left some rubbish behind. This happens sometimes. Some customers can be a bit messy. Let's clean it up so the next customer won't complain. 
That looks much better. Just a heads up. Sometimes you might need to focus on a task, but there's a lot going on around you. In these situations, you can always pause the game and take your time. Try pausing and resuming now. Pretty useful, right? With the game paused, you can do your job without rushing. On the other hand, when you're waiting for something and don't have much to do, you can speed up the game. You can always go back to the standard speed later. Try them both now. Now you know how to manipulate time. You're almost ready to go, but remember... So many happy dog tales. My boss, Mr. I Hate Him, tells me I'm needed somewhere else now. I'm confident that you'll be able to complete the mission on your own. Check out the mission window to see your goals and progress. We'll see each other again soon, I promise. One last tip, check if you still have coffee beans.
After a successful internship in Cape Town, you have received a plane ticket to the bustling city of New York. This time, you'll be responsible for restoring the splendor of a dilapidated cafe. A famous musician, Phoebe, is looking for a new place to gig. Maybe you can convince her to perform at your cafe. Hello again. How was your flight from Cape Town? I hope you handle 22-hour flights better than I do. Anyway, here we are in New York. They say the city never sleeps, so it seems like a perfect place for another coffee shop. This place has potential, but we'll have to work on it, starting, of course, with the brand. A recognizable brand is a must-have in such a competitive market. Now let's take care of the coffee shop itself. At this moment, it's very neglected, but I'm sure you can quickly bring this place back to life. Do you see this cabinet in the middle? The previous owner must have left it here. Let's sell it to make some space. Not only did we get more space, but we also got some extra cash. Remember, if you ever need some money, you can always sell some of your furniture. Anyway, it's time to renovate the walls and floors. change. Now the coffee shop looks awesome. It reminds me of some popular TV show from the 90s. What was its name? Ha, ah, I can't remember. Anyway, let's keep on working. It would be a waste to have such a cozy space and not add some tables and chairs. Let's do it now.
You are a natural-born interior designer. Rachel Bean! That reminds me of someone. She is now part of your business, but she has no clue when she should start her shift. So let's set up her schedule. Remember, each... you successfully assigned her the hours. Now let's wait till she starts her shift. Remember, when there's no barista in the coffee shop, you can always skip time until the next one shows up. Great, we're almost done setting up the coffee shop. I've already organized some supplies, such as coffee beans, water filters, takeaway cups, and milk. However, we've been using cheap, low-quality supplies so far, and it's time to level up. Let's prioritize getting better coffee beans from a reliable provider. Now that you know how to use different supply providers, it's time to open your coffee shop. But did we forget something? Of course, we forgot to set the menu and prices. Let's do that now. Now we are truly ready. Let's open the coffee shop. It's officially open. Now it's just a matter of time until it will be full of customers. Do you see this elderly gentleman? Let's see who he is. This is Tom Heckles, a senior. He's about to buy a coffee. As you can see, Tom appreciates the fact that your coffee shop is clean. Try to keep it that way. Notice how the money you earn from selling that coffee multiplies. Money multiplier is a secret ingredient of our world. You earn more when your cafe looks nicer. Each decoration item gives you some style points, and when you get enough of them, your money multiplier increases. Let's do it now. Good job. Now you have a hint on how to earn money faster. Thanks to that, you will be able to invest more money to grow your business. For example, by training your employees. Try to train Rachel in any skill now. Once Rachel's training is done, her skill will improve. It's important because your customers will judge the skills of your employees. The employees themselves also want to have some training from time to time. But remember, with better skills, they will also expect a better salary. I think you're ready to continue on your own, but before I go, let's check out the mission goals. You may wonder why you even need a guitar and amplifier. Well, there's a rising star of New York music, a girl called Phoebe. She won't give a concert in every coffee shop, though. It must be liked by lots of people, and, well, you must provide the proper gear. Her presence will surely make your place very popular. I have to go now. See you soon, somewhere in the world.
from the city that never sleeps to the land of Samba and Caipirinhas. Starting a coffee shop in a crowded metro station? Good luck keeping up with the busy commuters, but hey, if you can make it in Sao Paulo, you can make it anywhere. After sur- Nice to see you again, this time at the metro station in Sao Paulo. I'm so excited. I have never seen a coffee shop placed eight floors below the ground level. Although there's not much competition in this particular location as always, we must start by creating a brand.